My parents named me Emmett, but I'm known as Emmett to only a few. Instead, you can call me Gary. I'm used to it. I've come to terms with the fact that somebody, or something, has compelled me to be in certain places at certain times without fail. I only wish I figured that out sooner. I should have known that today was going to be a horrible day. Now I had an idea. No one was listening to me. I had just invented my way out of the world's biggest problem. Ice nine. Imagine a substance that can freeze everything. And not even Easy. Dr. Hand wanted to give me a chance. It must have been my rough day that compelled me to go out to the bar. The strongest thing you got. Having a tough day? Just things aren't going as planned. Girl troubles? Just people in general. You know what they say, we all fit together in the same machine. That's a load of crap. Say, who's that? Marissa Champagne, the most beautiful girl in San Lorenzo. Nice, nice, very nice. Where'd you say? San Lorenzo. It's a beach town, not too far from here. Is it better than this city? Every city is ugly. San Lorenzo is just less ugly. I concur. I really need to get away right now. That sounds fantastic. Do you mind bringing an old man along with you? Not many people include an old man nowadays. I mean, I guess so. Well, boys, I'm heading out. Shift's done. Take your time, though. Like I said, we all fit together somehow. So we decided to set off for San Lorenzo, because it was the only thing left worth doing. Hello, and welcome to San Lorenzo. How, how, how do you do? John. Well, Marissa, it's nice to see you again. There's a party up the beach whenever you guys are ready. Bye. You two know each other well? Uh, yes, I actually previously lived in San Lorenzo. Did you now? A few years ago, I was on a cruise around the Caribbean when there was a great storm. The boat tore into pieces. The only ones who survived were myself and a handsome young doctor. Dr. Hand was his name. Dr. Hand, you say? You know this fellow. Anyway, keep going. I can't believe it. We're, my life flashed before my eyes. We're lucky to be alive, especially in a place as beautiful as this. I just hope we find out where we are and we can get home. Do you believe in fate? Excuse me? This was all meant to happen. It's all part of a plan. You, me, the ship. It's a plan bigger than any of us. I believe in science. Believe in whatever you wish, but you can't deny the evidence that's right in front of you. Just open your eyes to the truth. I know the truth. 
Unless everything you've ever known has been a lie. How is that possible? That doctor hand is a stubborn one. But do you want to know what I said next? Sure. Imagine a world in which there's no such thing as water. In which there was a substance that could freeze everything. Then, Doctor, our crews would have never set sail. You and I would never have met. Our destinies would not be fulfilled. But water must always remain as water. That's just how the world works. Look what we have here, a stroke of luck. A stroke of fate. What are you boys doing here? You both look parched. If it weren't for Marissa, we would never have found out where we were. She helped us. So it's really that small? Yes, only a few miles across. San Lorenzo is nothing too special. Oh, but it's very special. If San Lorenzo wasn't here, we'd still be floating in the middle of the ocean. You just float on to the next beach. Crashing into San Lorenzo was meant to happen. It really wasn't, sweetie. It's just a coincidence you had to land in this godforsaken place. I would thoroughly enjoy never coming back here again. This place may be beautiful to you, but every city is ugly. San Lorenzo might just be less ugly. There's a party at the beach whenever you guys are ready. <laughs> What's good, Gary? Why are all these people here? Gary, I didn't know you were vacationing here. Everybody who is here is supposed to be here. Hey, that's my sweatshirt. Well, boys, I'm heading out. Shift's done. Take your time, though. Yeah, I'm out. Are you sure he has it? He lives down the street. You'll find it in his room. Okay, I'm on my way. Sweatshirt pocket. I saw him put it in there. I have it. I always knew you were a keeper. Hey, will you marry me? Only after you freeze godforsaken San Lorenzo. I should have known that going to San Lorenzo was a bad idea, but at that time I was not under the impression that dying was a part of my destiny. But now that I'm running away from death, I realize that there are things in life you cannot change. Certain things are supposed to happen. Whether you believe in God, science, or something else, fate is still at hand. All that was left was for me to accept the fate which I had been given, and my fate had decided that today was the day the world ended. Same.